Yes, it's absolutely true that uh, we've had some, some tough by-election results and uh, they've been, I think, uh, a reflection of a lot of things, but we've got to recognise that uh, voters are going through a tough time at the moment. And I think that as a, a government, uh, I've got to listen to what people are saying, and in particular to the difficulties people are facing over the cost of living, uh, which is, I think, for most people, the, the number one issue. Uh, but what I can say to people is we will get through this. We will get through it well. Uh, but clearly, we've got to listen, from, uh, listen to these results. What we need to do now is reflect on where voters are. And what they're, I think what they're basically feeling is that you know, we came through COVID well. We took a lot of the right decisions there. But when I'm facing pressures on the cost of living, we're seeing uh, spikes in, in, in fuel prices, uh, energy costs, uh, food costs, that, that's hitting people. Uh, we've got to, to, to recognise that uh, there is more that we've uh, got to do, and uh, we certainly will. We will keep going, addressing the concerns of people until we get through this patch.